Hey, what's up everyone? Forever Let You Series here, back with episode three of Forever Answering Your Questions. If you are new to this channel or curious as what goes on in this series, basically you guys will comment on today's video like previous ones, asking certain questions, whether it be Lego, Lego Star Wars, or Star Wars related, or even mock related, and I will do my best to reply and actually answer them in videos like this. So it's basically a Q&A series, which is kind of self-explanatory, of course, with the title and all. Um, but I'm really excited. Uh, before we do get in the video, I do want to apologize quickly uh, that last week, since there was no episode and why there was no update on Hoth, I do want to explain why. Um, last week, I was on my spring break, so I did get a bunch of work on Hoth done. And I was going to upload Hoth, but the problem was is by the time I was getting ready to record it, I or the day before I was going to record it, I found out my grandparents were coming down to visit and they were going to be staying through the weekend and I realized I'm like oh crap I'm I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this and the reason why I say that is because of the fact that my I usually lend my bedroom to them and as you guys know this is my bedroom along with my Lego studio so uh I can I didn't really have time and wasn't able to actually record it because of the fact that they had some stuff in here. And I didn't want to show that on camera. So I did decided, okay, let's skip a week. Uh, as well as the, there was originally supposed to be a Q&A episode last week. Uh, but I got just really busy with a few things. And I ended up decided, deciding not to do it. Because it would have gone up later in the week and it would just screw up the schedule. So, without me, without uh, continuing on that, let's get right into today's first question. Okay, guys, so today's first question comes from Tan Bricks. He asked, what is your favorite type of TIE Fighter? Also, do you like C-3PO or R2-D2 more? Uh, for the second one, I'll get into just a moment. Uh, but what is my favorite type of TIE Fighter? Out of all the different designs, there's a bunch of really cool ones. Um, now, some may think, oh, well, of course, the classic TIE Fighter. Uh, honestly, no, that's not my favorite. I think it is a great design, and it is iconic, of course. Uh, but my favorite TIE Fighter actually has to be the TIE Interceptor. Um, I've always loved that ship for some reason. Uh, I don't know why. It's just a very unique design in my opinion. And I just love the overall design of the TIE Interceptor. I love playing with it in like Battlefront or different games that of course use or you can use the TIE Interceptor in space. I don't know. I think it's a really cool ship. I love flying around. Um... Yeah, that's pretty much it for the TIE Interceptor. I, I I don't know. I've always liked the uh, sleek design as well as, you know, it being super speedy. Uh, but for the second part of your question, also, do you like C-3PO or R2-D2 more? Uh, I take it, like, which one do you uh, like more than the other? Uh, I'm going to have to say R2-D2. Uh, I, I like both C-3PO and R2-D2 pretty much equally. Um, they're kind of just those characters that... They're kind of secondary characters that you like. Uh, but I prefer R2-D2 because I think he's hilarious and... I think he's just a cool character, I guess you could say. So, other than that, that hopefully that answers your question. Uh, next, we have a question coming from Tarful Studios. He asks, learned a lot, great video. I will rewrite my question. Sorry I didn't get it to uh, you in the previous uh, episode. He asked, if you could redo or make a custom figure for LEGO, what would it be? Possibly new molds for torsos or legs. Like I said before, would be great for Venom or new printing, etc. Okay, so what, do you, what I assume you mean is, basically, if I could create any minifigure in LEGO, what would it be? And thinking about it, that's quite difficult. Uh, if I could get, if I could like make a new mold or anything, I'd probably re I'd do a remold of the Hulk or the, I guess, big figures. Because of the fact that, I don't know, I think the Hulk figure is just way too large and way too bulky or that sounds so really weird for a hulk figure because of the fact that he is bulky and all that um i don't know i think it would be pretty cool to get more articulation than just the arms swiveling up and down um so i'd probably remold that and other than that i would love to see more leg printing i well i guess not really leg printing but uh leg molding a double molding of the leg kind of like what they did with the han solo figure from cloud city that or of course more arm printing which i love arm printing and i think it looks it makes the figure look a lot more accurate and much nicer so hopefully that answers your question next we have one from mix the bricks he asks jar jar binks or battle droids which is smarter which is your favorite as well as which is your favorite sit so, uh, if I had to choose between Jar Jar or Battle Droids, I'm going to pick Battle Droids. 
and I think that's self-explanatory. I'm not one who hates Jar Jar Binks, but I'm not a fan of him. Uh, and plus, I think droids are funny. Uh, now, and of course, droids, I would say, are smarter because of the fact that they are battle droids. Uh, and then, which is your favorite Sith? I'm going to have to say... Darn. Um, I'm probably going to have to say Darth Maul. Now, it's kind of a tie between Darth Vader and Darth Maul. Both of them are great characters. And I know that's probably an overused character. Like, I like some Sith that are in, like, Old Republic styled uh series or whatever i love darth revan uh but for actual villains i i think darth maul is always such a cool sith i think it's just a really cool looking sith as well as uh i i liked him in the movies and i liked him in i guess his comic self uh that the canon comics they have for darth maul i don't know i i like the way darth maul looks and i like how he works he's not really uh a good guy turned bad he's just a straight on bad guy so i i, I that's why i kind of like uh, uh Darth Maul over Darth Vader. And for the final question today, kind of keeps up with uh, the droid situation previously. We have one, we have a question from Frank, Frank's Fantastic Bricks. He asks, what is your favorite droid? Uh, so again, keeping with the droid situation. Um, I Okay, so there's a lot of different droids in Star Wars. You got the battle droids, super battle droids, uh, droidy cuz, uh, you have the non-battle droids, droids like uh c-3po with the protocol droids and you've got astronomic droids you got a bunch throughout the star wars universe um i'm probably gonna have to say astronomic droids are, are my favorite i think they're cool they're cute and uh if i were if i were in star wars and would want any of these droids uh as my own i would definitely choose an astronomic droid and just have them like follow me and you know be i, I don't know i think it'd be a pretty cool companion in my opinion um if you guys have any opinions on that, let me know in the comment section whether, like, what battle droids or what droids you would prefer to have, and I would love to see that in the comments. But that is it for all the comments we got this week, and I want to thank all of those, all of everyone who commented last week and asked me questions. I Again, I really like the series, and I hope to continue working on it. Um, if you have any questions relating to Star Wars, Lego, Lego Star Wars, or even Mox, anything on that circumstance definitely comment down below in the comments section if you enjoyed definitely smash that like button as well as if you're at all new to this channel definitely subscribe we actually just hit 300 subscribers and i'm very grateful for you guys and again uh i definitely look forward to uploading this week's episode of hoth i think it's going to be a pretty big one i don't know you kind of see behind me um but I'm, I'm highly looking forward to that so definitely stay tuned for this week's episode of hoth I think that's going to be it. Hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video.